Hello and welcome back to Natural. Hello, hello friends, welcome back. Today's video is pretty much a part two of last week's video. So last week's video really was around clarity and intentionality and I gave some tactics that you could implement right away to get started. Now one of the things I didn't mention is I went in with the assumption that everyone had some pieces that they would want to keep hence the two different piles and the eight to 10 being the pile that they would keep. However, I did get a comment, how about if I have nothing I wanna keep and I wanna start from scratch. So the same applies, but instead of having the eight to 10 pile where you know there's certain key pieces you would keep, you would just have one pile, one through 10, and start to categorize the items you would donate, the items you would resell, if any are applicable, and then the ones you would re-gift if you could repurpose some of the items. The next step, and probably the most important, is understanding that in order to cultivate your very own personal style, it starts with you. We can look outside of ourselves for inspiration and aspiration, but we really need to work with what we have. And that entails being extremely honest and realistic with where we are today and where we envision our future self to be. We can all want to have a luxury closet, but if our budget does not allow us to start pursuing that today, then that is something that maybe should go into the future self category, something you can work towards. That does not mean eliminate it from the equation. It just means you need to have a realistic stance as to where you are today. So I'll start with a very basic example of two closet end states. On one side, we're going to look at a very minimalist capsule collection. On this end, we're going to do a more extreme version, something like what I have. If you don't know where you fall in the spectrum, just start to cultivate it for yourself as you learn that it is a process. It is not something that is a final destination that's fixed. Once it's reached, you're done with your style aesthetics and cultivating your personal style. No, my friends, that is not how it works. It is a journey, just like everything else in life. You have to get clear with what you want that end state to look like. See where you fall on these two extremes. Are you more of a minimalist? There are certain colors you know that work for you and those are your go-to and you don't really like to play around with too much fuzz and you don't wanna think about it. So you just want to have items that work for your everyday and that really can be interchangeable so that you can maximize the potential of your wardrobe. If that is you, my friends, then these are the steps that you need to start getting clear on. Number one is what is the color palette that you desire to cultivate in this minimalist capsule collection? For starters, I would suggest a very, very, it's, it's actually the one that is mostly talked about, a very nude and neutral earth tone type of capsule wardrobe. Now, why these colors? These colors really work well for pretty much anyone and they're very 
safe in that they're not a loud statement in your face type of look. It's, it's just very ethereal, very easygoing. And if you don't fall into either the minimalist or this group of just highly curated closet, then you fall somewhere in between. The same applies. Make it your own. It's something that you need to stay present with and really listen because you know how you feel when you step out into the world. You must start to really pay attention and bring awareness to the art of getting dressed. There will be a three part video for Zara Hall. I hope you find that valuable. It's been quite fun for me to order a ton of goodies and try them on and really test drive what are the items that I think will really stand the test of time and serve pretty much everyone regardless of where you fall in the spectrum because they are timeless chic pieces. So thank you for joining me once again as we together will figure out the art of getting dressed. Toodles!